Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. A lot of the midweek results, there's a few surprises, a few twists, and um, you know, teams that were probably in the odds to win and it didn't happen. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what I'm trying to do. I'll try to get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. The best way you can help me achieve that is by sharing my videos, letting people know about my channel, and let's see if we can do that together. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So, the first game I'll kick off with is Sheffield Wednesday versus Leeds. Now, Leeds went to Preston and got a one all draw. I, I know Deep Dale was a hard place to go, and you know, from a league's perspective, that probably ain't a bad point. Obviously, you know a lot more than I do, league's fans. Please feel free to put your comments down below. Sheffield Wednesday at home uh, beat Stoke 1 0. Three points for Sheffield Wednesday, a point gun for leagues. Um, you know, we've. The likes of Sheffield Wednesday and how well they are at the minute. Um, leagues, I don't know quite know how to summon them up. They do well some weeks and then they go off the boil. Um, but, you know, it's still a long way to go and a busy Christmas period period coming up. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Sheffield Wednesday win. My next one is Birmingham City versus Luton. Luton losing 3-2 away to Fulham. Birmingham beating Blackburn 1-0 at home. Um, great point. Uh, sorry, great three points for Birmingham. A disappointing day for Luton. I think Luton deserve a point out of that game. I did watch it. Um, but Fulham just edged it. So, you know, disappointing day for Luton, but I got to get back up and brush themselves off. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Birmingham City win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Barnsley. Um, Barnsley 2 2 away to West Brom. Huddersfield 0 0 at home to Middlesbrough. I think that Barnsley game, Barnsley deserved the three points. But then I also do think West Brom, and I'll talk more about West Brom when I get down to West Brom fixture, but for now, let's take over to Barnsley side. Barnsley could have been about 5 6 0 up at half time, and I'm not lying. Um, West Brom didn't look at the races um, in the first half. If Barnsley probably scored a few more in the first half, I think West Brom, you know, weren't, weren't over there. Came back, but as I said, this story will finish when I get down to the West Brom fixture. Um, Huddersfield disappointed at home and now now against Middlesbrough. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Hull City versus Derby County. Derby County beating Wigan 1 0 at home. Um, Hull City beating Notch Forest 2-1 away from home. Great three points for Hull. Um, you know, Notch Forest have been really good of late. Um, I think the past couple of weeks, Notch Forest have let a uh, result slip. Um, but still a great three points for Hull. I'm not going to take nothing away from Hull with that result. Because, as I said, I know how hard Notch Forest can be. Derby, 1-0 uh, winners. Over Wigan, probably expected, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Fulham. Middlesbrough nil nil away to Huddersfield. Fulham be uh, winning at home, uh, three two against Luton Town. Good three points for Fulham. I think they could have had a few more on the Fulham point of view. Um, Middlesbrough, I think a point is fair, a fair result. And uh, you know, against Huddersfield, 
If Huddersfield won that game, then Middlesbrough would have been in the bottom three. So, you know, a good point for Middlesbrough considering it keeps them out of the bottom three. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 for the win. My next one is Millwall versus Stoke City. Stoke City losing 1 0 away to Sheffield Wednesday. Millwall 2 2 at home to Cardiff. Great point for Millwall. And, um, you know, going up against a hard Cardiff City side. Not the Cardiff City side. That got promoted, in my opinion. Um, you know, I think if Cardiff want to start looking at promotion again, they're going to have to start um, turning teams like Millwall, and that's no disrespect to teams in the Championship, but like lower league team, lower half teams, I should, I should say, um, Cardiff need to be if they want to come back up, and at the minute I'm not seeing it, so. Um, disappointing day for Stoke after I think it's two wins on the bounce. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Millwall win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Reading. Notch Forest losing 2 1 at home. Reading 2 2 away to keep you out. Great point for Reading. Uh, you know, looking. At Reading, I think I don't know quite know how to summon up Reading at the minute. Um, I watch them some weeks and they're superb. I watch them other weeks and then they're back downhill. They're a very um 50 50 at this minute in time. Um, North Forest disappointed at the office. Um, you know, with the whole result. Um, with North Forest. You know, are you looking at the playoffs? Are you looking at promotion? Not so as fans, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Preston North End versus Blackburn. Preston North End, one all at home to Leagues. Blackburn losing 1 0 away from home to Birmingham. Great point for Preston. This point day for Blackburn, just gonna hand you the result. And uh, I've gone for a 2 0 Preston North End win. My next one is West Brom versus Charlton Athletic. Now, you ready for um, this West Brom and Barnsley story to finish, in my opinion? Um, Let's put, let's go on the West Brom side of things, which is how I do things now, um, how I've been doing things roughly since the start of the season. I think West Brom could have won that game in the second half. Um, yet again, I don't think Barnsley turned up in that second half. They did hold on very well. Um, but as I said, put the shoe on the other foot back to Barnsley for a second. I think Barnsley took their chances. West Brom won't find a way back in, um, but then put it back on the other foot. I think West Brom should have won in the second half, which is why I say um, if a game's 50 50, one team's good in the first half, one team's good in the second half, it ends in a draw most of the time. Um, but, you know, fair play to them. Um, Charlton losing 2 1 away to Bristol City. Um, you know, with the fact that Charlton losing away to Bristol City makes a change. Um, you know, because I know how well Charlton been doing home and away with season, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Westbourne win. My next one is Swansea City versus Cardiff. Cardiff, 2-2 away to Millwall. Um, Swansea losing 3-0 at home to Bradford. Disappointing day for Swansea City. Disappointing day indeed. Um, you know, great point for Cardiff, I already said that. How disappointing was Swansea in this week though? Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for... A 2-1 Cardiff win. 
My next one is Bristol City versus Wigan Athletic. Um, Wigan losing 1 0 away to Derby County. Bristol City beating Charlton 2 1 at home. Great three points for Bristol City. Disappointing day for Wigan. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Wigan win. My last one for this weekend is QPR versus Brentford. QPR 2-2 um, at home to Reading. Brentford beating Swansea 3-0 away from home. Great three points for Brentford. Um, you know, with the lights of how... I wouldn't say disappointing they've been, but, you know, how their results will be going. Great three points for them. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-2 QPR win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat one if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.